all the, the books I've published in, in poetry have been either collections of everything I've written up to that point, or they've been sort of concepts. So they've been like long verse, thing, uh, verse novels, or they've been uh, you know, concepts about one subject, like The Sugar Mile was and so on. Um, but this is a collection of poems written over seven or eight years. So essentially everything since, since Pluto or some things I worked on. Um, and then with a, a more of an acceleration, accumulation closer to the time. So most of them were probably written in the last five years. Uh, so it's a collection of poems. Um, of course, it's, uh, you take the best of the ones you've got. Um, so certain themes appear, but, but it's not, with a collection, you're not pressing those themes. You're not trying to push those themes. So they're just natural. The things that, obviously, because I'm quite a sort of public, outward-looking poet, usually, um, it's, it's been a pretty grim landscape to look out at in recent times. Um, so I think there's a, some of it is kind of a lament for the way things are going in, in England specifically, but also in the Anglophone world. Um, I, I suppose there's quite a lot of that in it. And there's, there's quite a lot of personal stuff in it as well. It, it includes um, two big elegies for two very important people in my life, my father and Derek Walcott, who died within six months of each other. Um, so two big elegies for them, poems for um, uh, my girlfriend, poems for my daughter, poems for friends. You know, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of that. But it's a mis miscellaneous. It's, it's a grouping together of things from which themes can be drawn because, that's, because one, one fellow wrote them. Um, my relationship with when I write poetry is quite strange these days. Um, it's quite rare that I actually wake up in the morning and think, I'm going to try and write a poem today and, and actually I've got, when I do attempt that, I've got quite a decent success record for at least something that becomes a contender. Sometimes I just give up but that's just natural. Um, but many, many more mornings are spent writing theatre or, or, um, or fiction. I spent most of this lockdown writing a novel um, and I can't do poetry as well in a period like that because um, I, I feel in there there's a, there's a sort of creative focus that I can't disturb. Also, I'm, I'm quite taken with certain times of day. So um, the first hours of the morning, whatever, whoever, whatever I'm most in, is most important at that point gets the early hours of the morning. That's the treasure. It's like fishing, you know. That's, and, and that's been fiction for quite a long time, and it's often theatre. So um, what, now the novel is sent off and so on, I, I really want to get back into writing poems. Um, but uh, th this collection, I mean, it, 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 some poets write more and some poets write less, but it's, it's quite a slim volume given that it's um, seven or eight years, um, it seems to me. But um, I, I, I like that about it. I, I always used to bombard people with poems when I was young, and, and now it's just, it's better to, <laughs> it's better just to be selective and say, these are really the best ones. <laughs> what happens to it now, I mean, how people respond to it, um, that's really changed. You know, when I was young, it, it was everything. I really wanted to know what, you know, well, in those days, people reviewed poetry in the newspapers and stuff. So, yeah, there's not a lot of that going on anymore. Um, I, I, don't, I don't look at reviews unless somebody is so excited they virtually shove it down my throat. It's so nice. Then I'll probably experience it in some way. But no, I, I don't because I, I don't, Want, to, want things to get under my skin, um, uh, and they used to. I mean, now I just, it's easier just to just sail on. I'm also old enough that I kind of, I kind of know how decent these things are, and, and, and I know that some people have a problem with poetry because of its taste, you know. It's, at some level, it's just taste, because I teach a lot, so I come across a lot of different kinds of poet, um, and I've got my own taste, and I, I try to incorporate that into the way I teach. I don't dismiss things that are very different from what I do anymore. I, I, I try to be open to everything. So um, anyone who's just closed to the kind of thing I write on stupid grounds, I'm, I'm, I'm not really interested. I mean, I, um, it's, I have, I've tried to incorporate the traditions of, you know, the... the centuries of formal tradition that's how I learned that's what I've always done so that's there but um, I don't feel trapped by it you, you, you know there tends to be an opposition to formal poetry that's about well you're not really saying what you mean if you're writing formally but in fact it allows me to say pretty much exactly what I mean um, uh, just because I've practiced it for long enough